Hello Capricorn, welcome to Weekly Love Reading for May 9th to May 16th. Thank you very much for being here. So I'm trying something a little different. I've been told that I shouldn't have just my body and no head. <laughs> it's a little disconcerting. And uh, so let me know what you think about this. Let's see, let's get a Romance Angel card for Capricorn. Romance Angel card for Capricorn. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Check that out. And she, what is she doing? She's stopping to smell the roses. How appropriate, right? So I'm going to be using the Tarot of a Moon Garden cards. And then I'm going to be using the cards I originally started doing readings with, which was from the little mini uh, box set. All the cards will be listed in the description box below. So, what does Capricorn need to know in love? What does Capricorn need to know in love? Five of Cups. Okay, so let's see here. Five of Cups. And one more card from the Tyro of a Moon card. For Capricorn. It's Capricorn. Ooh. Okay, so card fell on the floor. We're going to take that because apparently they want us to have it. Capricorn, it's you. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So, <laughs> right off the bat, I have to tell you my initial thought is attraction you know it talks about attracting romantic love by enjoying the moment fully and this makes me think of with the five of cups i'm gonna get closer on that with the five of cups here and the queen of pentacles to me i kind of feel like it's saying if you're looking at a garden full of roses and there are a few that are you know falling apart or brown don't focus on those. Focus on the nice ones. It's almost like you're spoiled. I hate to say that. So I'm so sorry, Capricorn. But I get this feeling of like, you want the best. And if it's not all the best, and it's not exactly what you want, you're not happy. And I feel like that that's going to detract from someone who might like you and might want to approach you. And I feel like the cards here are saying, you know, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't be, you know, that queen of pentacles who has everything and, you know, can afford all the luxuries of life. Maybe you have, to, you might have to overlook a little something to have it all. Do you know what I mean? And when you're focusing on the negative, who wants to be around someone who is saying, oh, that was, that, those, those french fries were terrible. Meanwhile, they had this big, beautiful hamburger that was delicious. And if you don't like meat, they had a big, beautiful salad. I don't know. But you get the idea. So let's see. Let's get you some more cards, Capricorn. For love. What else does Capricorn need to know in love? Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles could be talking about being single, just being very money-focused. Six of Pentacles is about needing to find balance. Look at that. So to me, you know, you may be focused on your coin so much that you're not really giving attention to your love life. That's what this is saying. And that you might need to, you might need to have more balance in your life as to, you know, if you want more love, then you have to give it more time, you know? Yeah, see, the world, you can change it. You know, but to change it, you're gonna have to do something. Five of rods. This is this is definitely taking action. You know, five of rods to me, it can be practicing, it can be arguing, it can be debating. Maybe you have a work situation where you're required to be there uh, more than is healthy for your love life. You know, or maybe you have to have that talk with your your uh, your certain someone that. Um, you know, we, we, we like the finer things in life, like the Queen of Pentacles, but um, we're missing out on so much. The Five of Cups, 
you know, we're going to have to, maybe we have to cut back on something to get something else. You know, I, I don't know if, if, it may, if it resonates with you, great. If this doesn't resonate with you, then maybe check your rising or your Venus sign Capricorn. So, oh, and as I, I say that, I go to shuffle and I get this. The Knight of Swords. <laughs> So the Knight of Swords can be an air sign that you're dealing with, or to me, the Knight of Swords, he, he doesn't really think a lot before he does something, you know, but he's got something to say and he's bam, he's there. So maybe there's an air sign that's going to speak up for you or actually speak up for you as in, you know, when you start appreciating what you have and not looking at the negatives, start balancing things out. There's an air sign that's coming in for you. And that would be your uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, yeah, that's good, yeah. See, it almost feels like, see the bottom of the deck? You have the nine of uh, swords. It's about being in your head. It's about, you know, overthinking. And I think that you are definitely overthinking. You know, you're overthinking, I don't have this. Start looking at the positives. You gotta start looking on the bright side. And then you have a whole new person coming in. So, and they really want you. So, thank you Capricorn for being here. Really appreciate it. If you don't, mean, if you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up. And comments improve the uh, video getting out and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much Capricorn. Bye.